Hey guys, Maniac here with a quick little how-to for GameAccess.net. Um, before I go over to the uh, New York Comic Con, I wanted to show you guys a cool new feature of iOS 5. I'm sure a lot of people have questions about how to get it to work, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Um, if you are sick, like I am, of tethering your iPhone to the computer or to your computer, what you basically, you don't have to do that anymore. But thanks to iOS 5, you don't have to do that anymore. But how the heck do you do it? Well, it kind of has to start with you have to install iOS 5 to your device. Be it you have any iPad or certain models of iPhone or iPod Touch. Once you have iOS 5 installed, which is available today, sync it to um, your most recent version of iTunes. Uh, this is uh, iTunes version 10.5. Um, what you have to do is make sure that um, when you have your iPhone uh, devices uh, tab selected or your iPod Touch, iPad, whatever, and you already have uh, version 5 re installed, uh, you have to select sync, uh, sync the, you have to have that um, little option, sync this iPhone over Wi-Fi enabled and you have to uh, currently sync that over so I'm going to do that right now it is uh, currently syncing now and um, once we have this uh, synced uh, now the computer is set up to wirelessly sync you have to have this step um, I did not like the fact that I had to do this step Apple doesn't tell you, you need to do this step doesn't have any how-to on how this works currently available um, but uh, once this finishes syncing which it just has I'm going to disconnect it and uh, we'll move on to step two well, I just cut the cord as you can see. I no longer have my iPhone connected to my system. Um, the, uh, however, as you can see here, I got the tab still. i just give it a second. Here. As you can see, the tab is still in place. And it says I have, in, um, in order to uh, update the version, I have to be able to just have it connected. But as you can see, what you have to do is basically the last time you sync it, don't eject the device. If you eject the device, it's uh, not gonna, it's not gonna work. Once you have it synced and you said, please, you know, allow it to be synced, synced over I, um, over Wi-Fi, pull the device from the cord, which I'll just do right now. There we go. In order to see some of the new features of iOS 5 or make use of some of the cool Wi-Fi features of iOS 5, um, go to Settings, and then go to General. And um, the first feature right here is a software update. You can do this now through um, through iOS 5. You can be able to update your iOSs without having to sync to iTunes, which is a great feature that's been needed for quite a while. Um, so you have that first off. I already have iOS 5 installed, so there's no reason to install it. And if you don't have iOS 5, you will need to install iOS 5 to have the system update function. As you can see here, we have iTunes Wi-Fi Sync. I now have it connected to a completely different um, spot. There is no internet connection there other than the Wi-Fi. There is no computer connection there other than the, uh, the Wi-Fi connection. So, what do you say we try this? iTunes Wi-Fi Sync. It's a lot, saying I can sync it now. Well, let's tap it and see what happens. Alright, it says it's syncing here. iTunes is recognizing the uh, preparation to sync. It has been notified to sync. As you can see here, there's nothing to connect it. That uh, little icon up on top, that's the um, sync icon. I can cancel the sync from here if I want to. I believe it has finished. Okay, well that's pretty much how you get it running. It was very difficult for me to get, get this all figured out. And Apple currently has not gotten any information made available about this on their website. That's as of yet. Plus, there's no instructions available. That's why I wanted to shoot this video. It took me a while to figure out how this all worked. Most of the hard work was probably done in the beta, but of course, normal people like you and me just don't have access to the beta and weren't given access to the beta, so we were basically left to our own to figure out how this thing worked. And I just didn't like that. However, as you can see here, I am currently set up, uh, okay, you can't see that, but I am currently set up, uh, I got the computer turned off right now. I decided, you know, is this thing still going to work after I put in, like, let's say, um, you know, shut off iTunes, or now that I got it working, what if I shut off the computer and turn it back on? Is it going to keep those settings? From the, according to the iPhone, it is, at least it has. It currently says that um, my computer is now ready for it after what I did to it. Now, the trick is to remember, when you do sync the computer and you allow Wi-Fi syncing, to pull the cord, 
but don't disconnect the device. That will screw up iTunes if you do. Wait a few seconds before the initial sync, otherwise it probably will stay grayed out. Um, and then you should be able to rock and roll from then on. Make sure, just in case, I don't know exactly what the stability of the program is. Um, it took me a while to get it to work. I don't really like, it wasn't as smooth as the beta guy says it was going to be. At least not for me. Um, it took me forever to get the, uh, the sync, uh, sync now option to not gray out. Um, but it looks like it was basically just, I didn't know, you, you know, you have to pull the cord, but don't disconnect the device. If you disconnect the device, it gets mad. So, um, there's your basic, uh, that's how you do it. That's what it's supposed to have been done. Hopefully this helped a lot of you guys out. I know doing this has helped me out quite a bit. So, uh, this is Maniac, uh, with GameAccess.net. Enjoy iOS 5. See you at Comic-Con. Over and out.